I'm in Pompeii, where this extraordinary room, hidden for 2,000 years, has finally been revealed. And the artworks are extraordinary. Now, largely preserved between, beneath a blanket of volcanic ash, Pompeii offers a snapshot of Roman life, frozen in time at the moment it was buried. But the ancient site still has many hidden secrets, and a recent excavation of a previously undiscovered part of the city has revealed some remarkable new finds. Our science editor, Rebecca Morell, has had a look. With Mount Vesuvius looming, 2,000 years after being lost to a volcanic eruption, a new part of Pompeii is emerging in the biggest excavation in a generation. And what they're finding is spectacular. After lying buried for so long, a room from a sumptuous house appears. And beneath the volcanic debris, a mosaic floor. With rare full-height frescoes, this vivid room, a place to entertain guests, once looked out onto a garden. On the ground lies the roof, which collapsed during the eruption. When we excavate, we wonder what we're looking at. Much like a theatre stage, you have scenery, the backdrop and the culprit, which is Mount Vesuvius. The archaeologist has to be good at filling in the gaps, telling the story of the missing cast, the families and children, the people who are not there anymore. It's just one part of this house that's emerging. This internal courtyard gives you an idea of just how far down the team has had to dig. This whole area was covered in these pumice stones that rained down on the town for 18 hours during the eruption. And up at the top here, there's this very dense brown layer. Well, that's evidence of the pyroclastic flow, this fast moving avalanche of gas and volcanic material that engulfed the town of Pompeii, killing anyone who was left behind. With a mist of water, another part of the residence comes to light. So they were on the ceiling, yes. so you'd look up. Yes, and very, very high. A painted plasterwork from an upper floor with intricate detail. Only in Pompeii you can see all that remain uh, of life, of an ancient life, not uh, only some fragments, but uh, their houses, their objects. For this reason, Pompeii is unique. But it's not just the house. A number of buildings have been found on the site. This is a big excavation. So here's a plan of its layout. This area here in red is the grand residence with these large opulent rooms. Only part of it has been unearthed. In front of it is a commercial complex. There's a laundry over here in green and next to that a wholesale bakery. And the archaeologists here think that this whole thing could have been owned by the same person. In the bakery, there are clues as to who this person might have been. The letters ARV are found repeatedly here. We're standing next to probably our greatest clue of all. Uh, it's a red painted uh, inscription on the wall and we know who ARV is and we know him to be Aulus Rustius Verus. And we know he's a politician. I mean, maybe he's funding the bakery. This is his enterprise, but he's not going to be living here. This is far too a uh, sort of impoverished little place for a grand politician. So we then hopefully maybe have the idea that he was living in this big grand house behind us. The year-long excavation has been followed for a new BBC series. Archaeologists say there's nowhere else quite like Pompeii. It's a particular kind of archaeology where you can find something that remained preserved directly from the Roman Empire to now, to now, to the modern age, without no history in the middle. And it's every time is something new. The excavation isn't over yet, and there are new discoveries every day, offering us a new window into the city and the people who lived here. We, we can... love looking around this place, don't we? We like From it. From a distance. We like it. But can you imagine if you were the science editor for the BBC and you got to be there and see this? Rebecca Morrell, good morning to you. We have been seeing you as we were watching that film. We were seeing you as well. And you're like... Um, I don't know, a happy person who loves jelly in a big vat of jelly. 
yeah, I mean, basically, it's, it's, it's been a very tough gig to come here, actually. I mean, it's just such an extraordinary place. And actually, I, uh, what we're showing you now, the black room, this remarkable room, I mean, you have to imagine, this has been buried for 2,000 years. No one else in the world, apart from the archaeologists who unearthed this, has seen this until today. I mean, you're setting eyes on something truly new from so long ago. And I'm joined by Sophie Hay, who's an archaeologist at Pompeii, who's going to show us around. I mean, it is a stunning space, isn't yeah, it? It's fantastic, and, and it's a real privilege to be sort of standing in amongst the walls because you get a real sense of the grandeur and the scale of this room. Um, it's, it's really impressive. Now, I love it in here because you've got these fantastic black stark walls and then these small, intricate paintings. They're quite little, aren't they? They are, they are. This is um, Apollo um, consulting his priestess, uh, Cassandra. And you say they're small and they are, but I think um, what I kind of would like to believe is that the, the, because this la uh, room is kind of uh, lit by oil lamps, the flickering light of the oil lamp will probably animate these a little bit and, and sort of they'll appear a bit more as if they're dancing. So they'll catch the eye a lot more than as we see it today. And there's a reason why this room is black, isn't it? It's not just a colour scheme, but this was a room used in the evening. Yeah, so this is a winter dining room and it's set so that it gets the light um, from the sort of setting sun. And you have to imagine that there's a sort of, this is, has to be an entertaining room, it's enormous. And so there's a sort of boisterous conversation. Uh, they could be lying on couches, dining. So this is really much sort of a entertainment area party room i mean it is a yes. party room. the thing i like here as well a lot are these white very plain mosaic floors so in Pompeii, you have a lot of these elaborate ones this is so plain but it's so pretty it is um we this is a sort of sea of white i think there's there's three million little white tessera that went into making this floor all hand laid um, and what we have to think is that this white floor actually helps reflect any light. So in the winter when you've got less light, this will help illuminate the room. So it's functional um, as well as pretty. Very clever, these Romans. Now, another artwork which is catching my eye here. I love this. I think the thing I particularly love about it, though, is the dog. I mean, it's, it's, look at its face. It's Absolutely, no, it's fantastic. It's, I, I love the fact that it's sort of breaking that fourth wall and, and staring out at you and getting eye contact. And that, for us, I think, gives us a real connection with these pieces of artwork, too. We feel, we feel drawn in and, uh, yeah, his face. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, slightly disproving look, actually, <laughs> looking down on the partying scene. Now, th there is a dark side to Rome as well, very briefly. I mean, behind here, you'd have had slaves. Yeah, so people dining here, these are the wealthy people uh, in Pompeii, but served, obviously, by slaves, and they're hidden um, behind this wall. They come out with platters of food to, to feed the elite. Thank you very much, Sophie, for that. So there you see it, the sort of the opulent and the oppressed too. I mean, they had everything in Pompeii, but it's, I mean, it is such a stunning room here. It's so beautiful and, you know, such stark decoration too. You're used to so much colour here, but there is something about these very black walls, this very white floor and these exquisite paintings. I mean, it's, it's truly remarkable to have a chance to have a look around. And I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it too. The first people to see it after so many years lying buried. Absolutely, Rebecca. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you to all the people there for allowing us in for a first look. It's been fascinating. New three-part documentary, Pompeii, The New Dig, starting next Monday on Boobs 2 at 9pm.